Hey everybody, it's Jonathan here with Drone Academy again. And over the past week or so, we've been playing with the Mavic 2 Pro and a lot of you have asked, does it live up to the hype? And you may have seen our review that we did on that, comparing it to the Phantom 4 Pro version two and the original Mavic Pro as far as imagery and all that. Well, I wanted to take a minute to look at endurance. DJI says that the new Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 in general gets 31 minutes of flight time. Now that's an improvement from the 27 minutes that the original Mavic Pro got. But of course you can't always take manufacturers at the word, so we wanna do a real life test. So we're gonna take the Mavic 2 Pro and the original Mavic Pro outside. We're gonna hover it for a little bit, do some maneuvers and see what it does. See how long it takes for these batteries to run down. So the Mavic 2 Pro has an improved propeller design as well as an updated electronic speed controller. Now DJI says that this is going to reduce the sound output significantly by about 10%. We'll take a look at that as well and see if it really does live up to the height. So let's take them flying. Even though the Mavic Pro on the left does have the low noise propellers from the Mavic Pro Platinum, you can see that the Mavic 2 is still a few decibels quieter. This is primarily due to the new electronic speed controllers on the Mavic 2. DJI promises that the Mavic 2 is about 10% quieter than the original Mavic Pro. Now, had I not had the low noise propellers on the Mavic Pro, I think that might have been the case. I'm sure you don't want to sit around for the next 25 minutes watching this, so let's speed it up a little bit. Both of these aircraft were in GPS mode with a minimum of 10 satellites, but you can see the Mavic Pro drifting a little bit, whereas the Mavic 2 Pro is pretty steady. So while we're waiting, I wanted to touch on a few quick notes about this test. The first being that when DJI publishes their flight endurance for their aircraft, they actually publish it in two different times, one being the max flight time and one being the max hovering time. And interestingly enough, for the original Mavic Pro, they also publish something called overall flight time, which is the point when it comes down to 15% battery level, and that's a few minutes less than the max hovering time. So for the original Phantom Pro, the max flight time is listed as 27 minutes, the max hovering time is listed as 24 minutes, and the overall flight time is listed as 21 minutes. And we'll see in a bit how we stack up to that. Now the Mavic 2 flight time is listed as 31 minutes, and the max hovering time is listed as 29 minutes. So you can see here we're just at 21 and a half minutes. And our Mavic Pro is at the critical battery level and has initiated a landing. Now I have manually overridden that landing and will attempt to drain the battery down a little bit further. I'm gonna to try to take these down to 5% to really see how much you can eke out of them. So let's speed it up again to see what happens. One thing I found here is that if you manually override the critical battery landing procedure, then you lose the ability to force this aircraft to land and I ended up having to pull it out of the air manually. And I did that at about 2330 when the battery reached 5%. So now we have the Mavic 2 Pro still up and you can see there just after 25 minutes, it began its automatic landing procedure as well because of the critical battery level. So we've hit the critical battery level at 25 minutes or so. Now DJI, like I said, gives you a 29 minute hovering time for this aircraft. So let's see if we can squeeze out another three and a half, four minutes before we have to pull it out of the air. And I did want to mention that while obviously we did expect the Mavic 2 Pro to have a longer flight time, this Mavic 2 Pro battery has about five cycles on it, whereas the Mavic Pro battery had roughly 15 cycles. Now that could have some small impact on the overall charge capacity of the battery, but not that much. And here at 26 minutes, the aircraft was down to about 6% battery, and so we're getting ready to pull it out of the air. So let's take a look and see how these stack up to what DJI publishes. For the Mavic Pro, they say a 24 minute hovering time and a 21 minute overall time down to 15%. So we can see that it was about 21 minutes to 15% and almost 24 minutes overall hovering time. 
with the Mavic 2, DJI publishes a 29 minute hovering time and a 31 minute maximum flight time. And we didn't quite see that. We did see 23 minutes and 47 seconds down to 15%. And if you want to run it all the way down, we got about 26 minutes out of it. So ultimately you're getting close to a three minute premium over the Mavic Pro, which amounts to an almost 15% improvement. And when you look at that in conjunction with all the other improvements made on this aircraft to include the quieter motors, the 20 megapixel Hasselblad sensor and the 360 obstacle avoidance sensors, the Mavic 2 obviously presents a very compelling upgrade from the Mavic Pro original. But ultimately you have to ask yourself if it's worth the $500 extra that you'd pay to get the Mavic 2 Pro versus the Mavic Pro. So there you have it. Obviously the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom as newer airframes with updated electronic speed controllers and improved props do have a little bit of an advantage when it comes to overall endurance. That being said, you are going to be paying about $450 extra for the privilege of flying the new Mavic 2. So you have to ask yourself, is it really that important? In my opinion, being able to have the 20 megapixel shooter with 10 bit color or the zoom capabilities definitely warrants the upgrade from the Mavic Pro to the Mavic 2. But if you're already flying with a Phantom 4 Pro, you may not see the advantages that much unless you just really like the portability. That being said, we are gonna pull out the Phantom 4 Pro version 2 and put it up against the Mavic 2 Pro to see from an endurance standpoint, which one has the edge. Also, if you haven't yet seen, we are giving away a Mavic 2 Pro. Go to our website. We have two days left before that's over, so make sure you get a chance to get in there and enter now before we give it away. And of course, like and subscribe to the channel. We are gonna be doing other drone giveaways here in the near future, so subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will announce it here first. So that's it for today. Have fun and fly safe.